Hello, welcome, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode 10 of Fighter Jet Roundtable Season 2. We have a sighing Maximus Light in the background, as well as another guest commentator, Android Elite. Say hello, gentlemen. How you doing? I'm trying not to laugh myself silly right now. Yes, and with these two wonderful guest commentators, yes, two! We're doing it one more. That's one more than one. We have two guest commentators today. And we are going to be taking a look at our new competitors and new aircraft and uh, watching them beat the shit out of each other for our amusement. Are you guys excited? Yeah, let's go. I look forward to losing on the first round. Okay, yes, Max also happens to be competing this round, but I don't give a shit. Anyway, without any further ado, let us get down to the watchtower and the round table and see what they and we have in store for all of you. Today. God help us all. And here we are back at the watchtower and the round table taking a look at today's first group of aircraft sent in by Script Kitty. We have the DFX 1 and 2 Dante and Virgil. And sent in by none other than Maximus Light, we have the Abomination unto Creation. The Ark Liberator F-07 Fox and Falco. So, uh, without any uh, further ado, let's go ahead and uh, pop on down and uh, take a look at... Uh, well, let's go ahead and... Because it's on this side, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Liberator first. So, taking a look here at the Liberator first... Uh, what are your... God, uh, who would ever do this? What is wrong with the person who made this? It's so ugly. The nose is wrong. It uses the worst cockpit in existence. Its tail is something out of a horror movie. And then those, like, horizontal stabilizers. Ugh, what is wrong with the person who made this? It's like they, they took everybody's nightmares and put it into this plane. Well, you heard it from the man himself. What about you, Android? <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> That's it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, very, very good. <laughs> All right. Well, we can see that it is outfitted with uh, AIM-9X's The Master Blaster, which I'm assuming is pulse lasers, because one of these craft does, in fact, have pulse lasers. I think if we look down here, we can see. Yeah, this one. So we've got pulse lasers and Mica IRs, which is an interesting choice. Uh, there's Kaz's favorite word. Um... I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind that, and since I actually have the man here, uh, Max, can you give me some insight into why you decided to choose the Micas? Well, at sub three kilometers, they go bang. They actually have a lot more explosive mass than A nines, and at that point, you you don't really need the A nines kind of wonky ability to track things. You just kind of shoot something and hope it hits. So you want more explosive power then. Okay, I, I guess that's a fair assessment. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom on into the back here. We can see it's uh, running with two Saturns, so it's going to be running a bit hot. And we can see the missile loadout there uh, in a arguably uh, internal weapons bay. At the very least, shielded from radar. Um, so that's, uh, that's the Fox. Let's go ahead and look at Falco over here. Falco is in every way identical to Fox, the only difference being that... Uh, well, he's a bird. Um, yeah, no. And he's heavier, uh, and, you know, he, he tends to hit a little bit harder in, in melee. Plus, you know, his blaster does, like, knockback damage. But, you know, I digress. This isn't Smash Brothers. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, looking at the Falco here. Uh, the Falco also uses AIM-9Xs and Mike IRs. Um, however, it is running with uh, Quams. Everybody's favorite close-range missiles. Yes, and it's on Falco specifically because he's an annoying prick. <laughs> uh, and we have the wah, which uh, I am, uh, I'm going to assume is a Gao 8? Uh, a Gao 22 is actually. Okay. All right. So, uh, we, we all need that 40k reference in there. Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what uh, the Liberators here will be fighting. So over here, once again, sent in by Script Kite, someone who we have seen multiple uh, fighters from, uh, is the Dante and the Virgil. These are actually different aircraft, uh, not just 
named uh, differently with some different changes. As we can see, the Dante here is uh, white and, uh, well, Virgil is mostly black. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, come on, get down here. Uh, what do you guys, uh, you guys are both avid plane designers. What do you think of the uh, design of this aircraft here? It's an interesting attempt with the um, intakes on the top to try and like blend them into those P-wings that lead back to the engines. I'm not sure quite how well it worked, but you know, it's there. Um, very interesting idea to try and combine what is that, two uh, of those turbojet, like, super powerful engines with the F-22 style engines? Mm-hmm. Um, not sure what that's gonna do. Um, aesthetically, it looks good having the F-22 engines um, on the inside, but that's gonna give them less control authority for rolling, at least, compared to having them on the outside. But, you know, it looks pretty. I'm glad you guys didn't uh, mention the fact that I forgot to deploy the gear on this one. Also, guys, please deploy your gear! Um, I mean, it, it also basically looks like a UFO in my mind. Like, this looks like something I, I'd probably see in Elite Dangerous as opposed to a KSP. It yeah. looks like it's going to be horrifyingly fast, though. That scares me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, it should it should. The one thing that I wasn't very keen on was, uh, well, you guys can see in the back there, uh, the wings are... They're clipping in a little bit there. You don't. You don't need exhaust. I wouldn't say well, that's. I wouldn't say that's engines. illegal, since you know the engine isn't occluded and all that other stuff. But it is pushing. I just don't like clipping. Uh, I as don't far as about. that's just a custom exhaust nozzle. It's no uh, problem. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, looks like this is running uh, with the MMMs. Uh, oh wait, no, it's not. Uh, it's just got a mix of AIM nine X's, AIM nines. Gow 22s, PL 10s, and the Quams. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to see just oh, how well lovely. Max's planes uh, deal with Quams. Um, this is going to suck. <laughs> hey, on the bright side, I'm sure you could submit another plane. It's not like it took you like a month and a half to make the one you have, right? Right. Okay. No, it took two months. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. All right, Snail so pump another one out. He just had to scrape off the rust. Um, okay, so, uh, that being said, looks like it's, uh, very strong on the close-range aspect, uh, with all the heat-seeking missiles other than the clams and their close-range missiles anyway, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Virgil over here. Uh, Virgil using the altered color for the F-22 cockpit with that custom gold cockpit texture. Thank you, me. You're welcome, me. Um, and, uh, altogether looking, well pretty sleek. Kind of sad that we couldn't get a color tweak on those uh, control surfaces on the end, but you know, hey, what are you going to do? Uh, also, the lighter of the two fighters, the other is, I believe, almost maxed out on missile count, uh, and this one, very, very light, has the minimum. As a matter of fact, it is running with pulse lasers. Uh, so, Android, we haven't heard from you that much. What do you think of this one? Um, it's, uh... Is interesting. I don't like it, but I don't like. I don't dislike it for any practical reasons. I mean, it looks like it probably flies pretty well. I'm not sure about that, but just on instinct. Um, interesting idea. I was gonna say doing a single jet, but there are secondary engines there, so those are gonna help a lot. Those Pegasus engines. I do believe there are actually uh, there are four of them. Uh, so technically, yeah. this makes it a five-engine aircraft. Technically, this makes it an enforcer, which instinctively I don't like, but, you know. <laughs> uh, who likes enforcers? <laughs> uh, okay. okay, and uh, I was like, well, I wonder where the verticals are. Well, they're right here. So, all of you <sighs> people at home, they're, they're right there. Um, that being said, this looks like it'll be a pretty nimble little craft, uh, but will these two devils be able to deal with the Liberators, or should we call them the Archangel Liberators? Ooh, Archangel versus Devils. Who will win? Let's get them into the sky to find out. Scene transition. And here we are back at the Watchtower to get these planes into the sky for round one. Let us begin. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I can't wait to lose horribly and then have everybody make fun of both how my plane looks and the fact that it lost in the first round. I don't care what happens as long as we get to see some good dogfights. 
I agree, Android. I, I agree. After all, uh, that's that's why we like putting on these things, or at least I do. You know, it's uh, I like watching the planes go pew pew and explode and all that other fun stuff, uh, especially when they're not mine. I just like pe seeing people suffer. I just saved those for the boss fight. There it is. Competition starts. The little lag there is the AI recalculates. Well, not the AI, the BDA. And the craft are now moving in. We have uh, Fox as the lead craft, Falco as the follow-up craft, uh, but Falco is actually in the lead right now, uh, which, hilariously enough, uh, it's probably something Falco would do. Um, <laughs> that being said, oh, oh, we have missiles PL-10s actually being launched due to their long range. Uh, being followed thereafter by Amen X's. Oh, big yawn. Huh. Things are getting exciting. Missiles. Well, that's a lot of missiles on both sides. <laughs> that is a lot of missiles. Missile Palooza, as I like to say. The Liberators seem to have stalled completely in motion. Um, like they're not even moving. Uh, ah, but you see, Kaz, they're up high. They're diving right now. Uh, that could be. I didn't actually see what their, uh, altitude was getting close over there oh we have a quam hit on the liver on the virgil over there um surprise yeah i'm sure if i was more familiar with the different lady cries series i would be making meme commentary about this uh alas uh the only one i played was four and i wasn't very good oh and virgil Ooh. getting killed by falco with I guess two he wasn't fast enough <laughs> I am assuming that is a joke, and I will laugh. That being said, we do have a single target here. I will switch to the Dante. Well, you. you oh, you had just a as it soaks. Oh, oh I God! Something fell off the plane. So, um, like the plane? Yeah, the plane did fall off the plane eventually. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even get to see what the hell happened there. It was just dead. Well, uh, I think. I think we have a winner uh, for uh, that first fight. Let's go ahead and get into round two. But we didn't get to see the dumb dog fight. And we're back for round two. Enough blabbering. Fight! Do things! Explosions! By blabbering, he means all the talking we did in between those cuts. Well, I think all of us are interested in seeing what's going on. This is going to be an extra long episode, you can tell, because we keep talking and I'm not cutting to the when the fights start. Although, if fights continue to go as fast as that, starting off, we might not have a problem. Like, goddamn, I'm su I, I, I was surprised. <laughs> to be fair, I might just cut some of the shit out anyway. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. That being said, you guys are... They're actually moved... Both of these sets of aircraft are actually very speedy. Um, all right, well... Fair enough. Their uh, first turn is underway. They are now closing. Uh, didn't get to see much of a dog fight. More of a tank and spank going on. Um, mm, good old tank and spank. I remember that from the WoW days. Which, uh, you know, I, I like to refer to that. Uh, one aircraft tanks all the missiles and the other one gets spanked. Um, Just like MMMOs. Yeah. All right, so again, PL-10's off first, Quam's being launched by the Liberators. Uh, the return of the American legend as it is, uh... We're fighting built by a Canadian. <laughs> yes, built by a Canadian. Um, the Virgil is, um, waiting nicely We're in dead. the back. I guess, uh, that's, I don't know, that's, maybe... That's, uh, a, that's, a, that's a bit, that's, that's a bit. Yep. You know, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even to do that. I'm gonna come down. Okay, the missiles are definitely away. Let's actually get some. Uh, let's watch the Virgil, shall we? Well, it's uh, for those five engines. It sure does seem to be moving slowly. I, and I feel like this is the kid who gets picked last in all those the games and sports and PE and school. Just like, I want to participate too, guys! Nobody wanted to pick him for some reason. No, but he still has missiles, so eventually you might be surprised. Mm -hmm. Well, that is true. Uh, it's got two missiles remaining, it appears. An AIM-9X and a PL-10. Correction, uh, just a PL-10 now. And now just pulse lasers. That should mean it's getting ready to go in. 
Uh, let's go ahead and clip into the Dante over here, since it seems to be in the thick of things. It seems to be turning over on, uh, turning over towards Fox. Those engines just full afterburner. This thing has got to be Watch full out, of fuel. Fox. You got an enemy on your tail. I could not imagine what that heat signature looks like. Uh, the sun, uh, probably. The heat signature, yes. We have pulse lasers firing. Uh, couldn't tell which aircraft that was. It looked like it was. Oh, Fox lighting up, uh, attempting to light up the Virgil right now. Dante just kind of letting its uh, wingman uh, play around there. Have the Gao 22 light up. More pulse lasers firing from the Fox. Fox lighting up Virgil. That could be good. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to actually zoom into there and watch some of that. Wait, that's not the one I wanted. Nope. There we go. Oh. Super fun time. Oh. Hope you all didn't burr, uh, decide to barf there. All right, we've got uh, Gao 22 fire coming in. Oh, we've got a team up. Falco trying to come in, uh, deal some uh, deal some damage to Virgil. Looks like we have a little bit of uh, a lack of accuracy there uh, from the... Oop, never mind, as soon as I say that. It's, it's pretty accurate. The problem is it's a pretty small target, too. Uh, that means... Uh, yep, there it is. Dante killed by the Falco Liberator. Scratch one bogey. Uh, indeed. Indeed, indeed. I won't even have to use that voice clip. And the Virgil looks, well, like it's... Watch where you're flying, uh, Fox! You're becoming more like your father. Oh, it still wins. <laughs> it still wins. Well, it's 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 the ground. Ground. with that, uh, with that spectacular failure, um, did, did they like just decide, oh, we've won, let's just like throw fists out? I have what only one thing to say about that. Task failed successfully. <laughs> that right there is a winning aircraft. That's what you're looking at. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Maybe it'll make enough. Uh, maybe by winning, it'll make enough to get a nose job. Anyway, we're here, going off to round two. And here we are back for round two, or, you know, the second batch of fights between uh, today's competitors. We have, for whatever reason, the MiG-28As over on the right side, sent in by Litz the Blizzard. And over here on Team Q, we have uh, the F-130 Shadow and the C-420 sent in by Q is for Question. And uh, we've already heard quite a bit from Q, uh, but Litz the Blizzard, this is the first time he submitted something to uh, this season. He was uh, in the last season, so I, uh, I'm eager to see how his aircraft go ahead and uh, do their thing. So uh, let's go ahead and get on down here, and uh, I guess we'll look at the MiG first, uh, change things up a little bit. So what do you guys think? How's it looking? Hmm. <laughs> Android, would you feel a comment on this one? I actually like it. I think it's a little bit short. I haven't I haven't seen the original in a while, but just looking at it, it looks a bit short. Other than that, I like the way it's shaped. I like the way the textures are. I just think it looks cool, but I am partial towards like historical stuff. So I, I agree with you. It is shorter than the historical version from what I can recall, too. A little bit more curbalized, but it, it does look the part. Yeah. Is that the MiG-29 or whatever? The, that was the repainted or whatever in, in uh, what was it, in Top Gun? I think it was. <laughs> they, they just used an American plane and called it a big. Yeah, I yeah. can't, yeah, yeah, of course they did. I just can't remember, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's whatever. Okay, anyway, so looking at this thing, let's check out its weapon loadout. We have, ooh, BK-27s, all right, along with uh, PL-10s and QAMs. This craft running even below the normal minimum of missiles that was recommended. Of course, I'm not going to tell people they must put missiles on their aircraft. Not sure if that was an oversight on his part or not. Either way, we've got only PL-10s and QAMs and the BK-27s. Uh, BK-27s haven't been seeing a lot of use this time around. 
They are way lighter than most guns, and uh, actually, just in pure TNT burst mass, they happen to have the highest burst mass of any gun. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're not bad. Um, the only thing is, they haven't seen a lot of use because, until recently, the Gao-22 was basically the king of death in the sky. Um, death. Yeah. That being said, it sadly looks like it didn't quite save the right logo, uh, for the thing. This is actually supposed to be a star, but instead it's using, um, my, uh, custom thing. That's kind of sad. That is unfortunate. Uh-oh, guys! Just, uh... What? Look what we have back here. I know what those are. They're eh, they're Stardust new engines, the Typhoons. Yes, so, these uh, are the Typhoon afterburning turbofan engines. Engines that are designed to actually be used like this in parallel with one another for a craft that, like the F-18 or other such things, you know, have two smaller engines. Um, there are concerns put, that they might be hilariously way, overpowered. Uh, we'll have I, to see. Well, I mean, overpowered, yes, but I, I think to put it in context, if you size those up to the regular standard-sized engines, um, two of them would weigh 10 tons and give you a ridiculous amount of thrust, like a thousand. They'd also drink a ridiculous amount of fuel, to be fair. Oh and my honestly, gosh, did they? This it's is like, the it's proper like those... way to use the I'm, um, I'm more interested by, uh, well, yeah. that. Yeah, that's but, what I saw. But when it's, uh, I imagine when it has such a, a short wing there and everything else, it must be hard to find the proper that. So that's probably the, just there as a safety precaution. I um, guess. These sure. aircraft are, are identical, which means we're going to be running with two very light weapon loadouts, all things considered. Uh, let's hope that, uh, well, let's hope that it is able to perform uh, moderately well. That being said, let's go ahead and... Uh, See what the hell this water tower is about over here. Water tower is a nice way of putting it. Alright, and over here, uh, once again, sent in by Q is for a question, we have the F-130 Shadow. Um, another one of those uh, semi-futuristic looking 6th generation -y fighters that keep coming out of the competition. Uh, once again no, with... A fan. Once again with the... <laughs> the super special verticals there. Um, okay, okay, uh, with, uh, air brakes, OPTW air brakes, interesting, okay, and using the black, uh, F-22 cockpit texture, very cool, uh, what do you boys have to say about this one? Uh, I do not particularly like how this looks, but it does look very practical, other than the OPT air brakes, which I'm guessing were chosen for how they look, because they're essentially the same as another identical pair of air brakes, except they weigh about ten times as much. So, yeah. I still think it looks like a fan. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Let's take a look at its, um, its uh, output here for weapons. It's got uh, AIM-9Xs. Four meteors, a quam, well, two quams, I'm assuming two quams, anyway, and, um, Gao 22s, the most commonly used gun in the competition so far, uh, and running with two Saturn engines, uh, with no others that I can see, so it'll, uh, well, it should be able to turn. Um, you just gave it a nose job, it could be a UFO. Uh, you're not an expert when it comes to nose jobs, Mr. Light. Um, that being said, coming over here, this thing is the C420. Uh, it is a uniquely designed tail sitter aircraft. It is the drill that will pierce the heavens. That, yes. Who the hell do you think it is? It... I think it's high as a kite right now. You know what I mean with the 420. Uh, all right, let's see. I thought that was the weed, but okay. Yes. All right, so uh, very cool using that uh, NMB Mark II Legacy cockpit, which honestly looks just really cool. It's very it's heavy, is, but I it does cool. I don't think it's an NMB one, actually. It is. Or Sorry, uh, OPT. My bad. It is OPT. Well, that makes more sense. I misspoke. That being said, we also have the uh, air brake back there, uh, OPT air brakes. Um, this looks like a missile boat. It's got a buttload of AIM-9s, tons of AIM-9Xs, um, GAU-22s, and Meteors 
that being said, it is at the maximum possible missile loadout. Uh, AIM-9Xs and Meteors totaling 12 with four AIM-9s for the MMM, meaning this thing is probably going to be hemorrhaging missiles at its target. Um, and uh, I guess we'll have to see how it fares against the MiG. I don't know what else I can say about this. Android, what about you? I do. Uh, I Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Android. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. He talked no. to you. Well, okay. Um, God, this thing scares me. Aside from the fact that this has a whole bunch of missiles, it's it's like like it, it, it's probably going to be some cheesy plane that's going to rotate on its axis at a drop of a hat and go like hee hee I shoot you. Android, I think <laughs> this this is peak performance. This is how all planes are going to look eventually. I think this is the ultimate format. I think this is going to perform spectacularly. It's going to win everything. He's going to end up switching to just two of these as the team, and then we're never going to look back. Well, okay, if the yeah, rules did allow for that, perhaps we would. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's time we get these planes into the air. But, shut but up, first, Max. We need, we need, we need, we need to get a side shot of it. Like, let's just side shot, side shot. Come on. I think he's compensating for something. I think we'll it's right the opposite back. of what's going on right now. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we are back. Let's get them into the sky. I I am very interested to see how this thing performs. It yes. why why is it going that way? Hello? Yes. It it does what it feels like. It's flanking, don't worry about it. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to have to manually start this competition and I'm not looking forward to it. Nah, it's gonna now be fun. We're gonna cut. And the competition <gasps> starts! Holy crap, I didn't have to push the start button. I uh, know, I was surprised too. I am waiting uh, for the MiGs to get into firing position, although this is an interesting match. Um. Oh. Did it just delete itself? It did. Is that what I think it was too? It just ascended to a higher plane of existence where it can win the fight from afar. Oh, this, this is not good. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Let's go ahead and uh, see how this uh, the shadow is going to perform without its tube-shaped partner. I I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect that. I expected it to like just massacre the competition, like just go super intelligent AI and auto aim at its targets. I mean, I to be fair, they already auto aim because they're AI, but. Okay. Uh, I think what happened is the wings being in a cylinder created lift in every possible direction at the same time, which then cancelled it out, destroyed gravity, and exploded the plane as a consequence. Well, that being said, the uh, shadow here has taken a missile, PL-10. Um, we have a MiG-28 being killed by the shadow with an AIM-9X. In theory, the shadow... Uh, well, it's going to have to pull up. No shadow, to, pull up! Shadow! Have to pull. No! Shadow! Nope. It's just like Sonic Heroes! And here we are, back for the second round between these aircraft. Uh, I may or may not forgive the self-exploding ability of the, uh... <laughs> um... The I think this has chosen to win by joining the other team. The, the cylinder doesn't care for your rules, Cat. It's about to go ham on the uh, opponent's team right now. Hmm. Uh, Cat doesn't even have any prepared sarcasm for that. I. Hmm. <laughs> go home. Go home, C420. You're high. <laughs> Listen to Max be a dumbass. And oh, the competition. And the competition has started. <laughs> Excellent timing. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm really hoping the shadow uh, doesn't. Well, I'm hoping the C420 doesn't blow itself up. This time it is actually firing missiles. Oh, good. So far. So far, yes. We, we, we want to see you do well, C420, because you, you're such a meme. That being said, I'm going to switch to it now so I can watch it. Because the missiles have been launched. Oh, look at, look at those 
glorious engines. Wait, what are the engines? I'm actually curious. OPTs? They're oh god, they're the RE rocket engines. <laughs> that thing is running on <laughs> Uh, so it is running on liquid. Of flight time, well, no, right? it is running on liquid fuel. Um, just it's I'm betting that in rocket rocket engines. I am betting that craft is uh, absolutely packed to the brim, to the brim with liquid fuel in order to try to make sure it is able to fly. Uh, and uh, the real reason it's a cylinder is that it has physical fuel tanks. Of course. Clearly, yes. Um, I, I, I like how as it, it like. Banks, it's actually slowly rotating, and it's okay with it. Um, it seems to be a little confused by what direction is up. That being said, the uh, the MiG seemed to have gotten blapped uh, by missiles, multiple missiles, according to the uh, layout or readout there. Shadow now moving in. Um, I'm gonna. Okay. Um, I'm oh, gonna go. Little cylinder. Uh, apparently the C-420 did get hit by, uh, a missile. Ugh. And, uh, the Four C-20 missiles. apparently also got hit by its ally. Um, oh, hello! There it is! It's coming to say hello. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and it's going to soon say goodbye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is that is the greatest craft ever created and no one can deny it. Zoom in here for just, dramatic just, effect as uh, the craft are getting close to each other. Oh yeah, an actual dog fight's happening. Yep. Shadow oh, has a... Uh, oh! oh! Quam comes in just to spite Android's comment, it seems. It's happening to someone else instead of me. And the Shadow appears like... Yeah, that's definitely just a cockpit. The Shadow is going to walk away, well, fly away, as the victor in round two. And here we are for round three. Let's get these aircraft into the air. But before I start, bets on which direction the 420 will go. All right, I call three o'clock. I call directly into the watchtower. Okay, oh. let's uh, let's go. Launch tower, launch tower. I know I'm losing money if that happens. Oh my gosh, uh, it's going the opposite way. Way. Uh, What is that, about 11.30? Uh, yeah. So, uh, 11.30. All right, well, it's much better than the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get hot. We need that 5:30, man. Like, come on. Luckily, come on. Uh, we we've been actually pretty lucky this season. Nothing has really managed to hit and or deal damage to the watchtower. Uh, at least, uh, not in any significant way. Someone will find a fix that. Just. Uh, I like how both me and Andrew are on cue. Just okay. We'll, we'll we'll take care of that for you. It's a side mission. Yeah. Uh, indeed, and the competition starts. They're heading into the first turn. C-420 launching a missile almost immediately. Not even sure how it managed to do that, considering it looked like it was traveling in the other direction. Um, C-420 goes whichever direction it feels like. Uh, meteors now being uh, launched by uh, the uh, the Shadow and the 420. Super fun. Uh, meteor, first meteor coming into the 28, speeding by without not a, uh, with uh, nary a care. Second meteor Honestly. coming in, here come the third and fourth meteors. Honestly, I'm surprised we're getting to see this many radar missiles. It's, it's been one of those days. Oh, meteor hit on the first big 28. Let's go ahead and get down there, uh, see how much we can actually see. Not a whole um, lot left. Not a whole lot left. That being said, the other one is heading in. Let's go ahead. It's got a missile coming in right now, heading toward it. There goes one, barely uh, managing to evade it. At this point, they have switched from radar munitions going into heat-seeking missiles. C-420 just kind of doing its thing over there in the corner. Shadow is much closer, however. We uh, have close-range missile shots coming in. Whoa! Oh. We might have ourselves a proper fight for uh, domination here. Kaz, why did you say that? You know what's happened every other time you said that so far, right? A man can dream, Max. A man can dream. And speaking so of which, we have missile coming up the tailpipes. Whoa! Whoa! 
C420 just not even giving a shit. Just everything coming at it. Oh, there it goes. Hello. <laughs> okay, now it has to turn immediately back around like a spaceship. Here comes the. Oh, we're getting. um... We are getting those uh, Gal 22s launching with that gorgeous, beautiful custom sound flying by. The uh, 28 seems a little. Uh, a little, a little, a uh, little slower, a little confused uh, as to what uh, it wants to I, really I, do. I think it's actually missing some control surfaces on one side. Yeah. Oh yes, so it definitely I, I think is. It's just slow. I think that's affecting its roll rate. Oh, Ooh. Quam! As Quams do, looping around. Oh, oh what an aim nine! That wasn't a Quam. That was just death, death and gunfire and missiles. And oh rounds. well, we did get to see a proper gunfight. The C420 and the Shadow will be moving on to the final fight against the Liberators. Oh, God. Nose job. And here we are for the finals of episode 10. We have the Ark Liberator. Fox and Falco sent in by Maximus Light and the C420 and F130 Shadow sent in by Q is for question. Will the Home Depot defeat American oil interests? Stay tuned to find out. Right now as I hit start competition. Yeah, yeah. Now you can cut cats. Uh, oh, yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> no. oh, so we were so close! It's like 10 feet away. <laughs> I had a feeling that might happen. And the competition starts on the final fight. Things should be somewhat more interesting uh, heading into this as, uh, well, the Liberators are the stealthier of these designs. Uh, meaning that. Well, nothing the... beats the stealth of the cylinder. What are you saying? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure the radar return. It, uh, it reflects so much radar that it overloads the radar and therefore is stealthy. Um, C420 seems to be. Um, Kind of confused. Uh, way off in the distance there, Shadow is closing in. They should be getting their heat seekers off uh, fairly quickly here, fairly soon. Yep, there we go. Whoop, Quam's actually being launched first from the Liberators. Um, it's probably because there's a stealth here playing in front. It could be. Whoo, that friendly missile was very close to the butthole of the uh, other Liberator there. Let's move in. C420. Uh, just very, very, very close friends. Yikes. Don't Google that. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, don't Google that, people. Seriously. Nah, no, bad that. things. Bad things. Yeah. Personally, he prefers your mom. Uh, <sighs> Alright. That's just Kaz. <laughs> Alright. Meanwhile, a fight's happening. <laughs> Mommy Milkers! I push. Of course she would do this. Alright, so uh, we've got everything going every which way. That being said, we're gonna get behind the fox here. Since it seems to be in the heart of the dogfight. Watching it. Be. Falco, as per usual, doing his own fucking thing. That being said, the shadow is uh, spinning around. Oh, Falco getting hit by a quam from the shadow. Really? Will Hope shadow prove okay. to be the ultimate life form? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go ahead and slip over here to Falco, see how it's doing. Oh, it looks okay. Looks all right. Yeah. No problem. I'm surprised. All right, that being said, Falco, uh, he's got an enemy. Shoot, he's right behind me. And Fox lighting up the 420 with those pulse lasers. I think Falco's about to lose the dog fight in a minute. Ooh! Beautiful pulse laser hits on the 420. 420, uh. Not looking so hot. Nah, it's fine. 
just gonna have wood along. I think we might have the Falco uh, behind it as well. It sounds like we've got... Oh, we do! We have Team Star Fox actually working together. Very, uh, kind of cool to see. Most aircraft don't do that. It is, uh... It's, it's almost like you tooled with the AI for it. We have more pulse laser shots uh, heading toward the 420. It is a big target. Also, uh, just out of sheer curiosity, let's, uh... Ah, uh, that explains it. His firing angle is at four degrees off target. The uh, C-420, uh, just having some fun over there. That being said, let's go see what the Falco's up to. Oh, all right. Falco trying to close in uh, on the 420. Let's see what, uh... Ooh! Tickle in the butthole with those, uh... Those Scout 22s. Let's see how the 420 is doing. Uh, this is getting quite far away from the round table now. This is actually our longest distance fight I think we've had in any of the competitions. Coming back to the shadow here, we can see that it is slowly, slowly picking apart Falco. I'm pretty sure uh, Falco is yelling all kinds of horrible obscenities, uh, perhaps about Shadow's mother right now. Yes, absolutely gripping dogfight action here in the finals of episode 10. Oh, the Liberator uh, has, in fact, caught up to it. Not that that was particularly hard. By the way, uh, just in case you guys were wondering, the C-420 is currently following, uh, falling from above 10 kilometers. And launches a missile! <laughs> Heading toward the Fox! Yeah. Um. Oh! <laughs> shit. Uh oh. That? That? And it launches another one! Launching another uh. meteor! Oh, yeah, this is this is bad. Oh, another. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. Okay, let, we got to look at Fox. How's Fox doing? Uh oh, Fox. Not good. Uh, not good. Is this, does he have engines? Fox. Uh, hard to tell. Looks like no engines. No. Fox has no engines. Uh, and is getting absolutely obliterated. Falco has managed to split up. Meanwhile, uh, you know. Another meteor hitting Fox. Um, but not effectively. Like, come on, just, just shoot him. You know, at this, at this point, uh, what do we even? I mean, this is technically the only functioning craft right now. So doesn't that mean like, like the winds by the fault, even though they still have technically air time? I they am have guns. I, it, they have guns and apparently uh, a good deal of fuel left. Well over five minutes of fuel left, actually. Um, it doesn't appear to be uh, interested in using Afterburner, and I'm pretty sure it will be able to chip through the Falco. Due to that, I'm going to make the difficult call that Fox and Falco are out, meaning the first victory of the finals goes to Q is for question. And we're back for attempt number three. You guys didn't see the others, but trust me, it was calamitous. You might Again, notice that we've put the uh, we put the 420 in timeout because it continued to either a kill itself or it almost hit the watchtower. Um, so hopefully it won't die now. And competition starts. Fox and Falco turning around. C420 in the timeout corner, finally having something go correctly. Stealth. All right, and there we go. Uh, once again, getting clams launched uh, first, it appears, uh, from the Fox and Falco. Once more, Falco leading the charge in typical Falco fashion. Uh, let's go ahead and actually watch this uh, from the Falco's perspective. Uh, fight actually taking place much higher in altitude than mo- Uh-oh. We've got lag. It scared me for a minute. 
I didn't see anything uh, explode or hear anything explode. Box. It could have been, yes, but I didn't see anything taking any damage. Uh, I will, however, take a quick look just to make sure. Nope, it's fine. And, oh, did I miss something? Nope, okay, good. Falco actually oh, you coming know, in. That might be the radar recalculation, too. Uh, definitely. Oh, boy, nope. Okay, we've got. Please, oh! Please just kill it. Just, just, just kill it. Kill it! Uh oh, okay, Shadow oh, had no, 52 not parts. Again. Why are Fox, you trying to uh. Aim at that guy? Falco, no, turn around, Falco! Okay, I'll oh, take damn. All right, this time Fox able to very readily take out the 420 I'll take with it. those pulse lasers. You hear those engines roaring as it now spins around, heading for the shadow. Ultimate life form now has two other furries to worry about. Damn it, Chaz. Well, you know what I like to say. Furries and furries. Ooh. Yikes! All right. Well, this time, um, the Fox and Falco very readily showing their superiority over the enemy team. Let's get into round three and finally finish this Carousel of Agony. And here we are for the final round of the finals. Whoever wins this gets to go on to sit in the winner's circle. Unless Once again, the horribly, terribly wrong. C420 uh, doing nope. as it does best. Nope. Giving Max a Bad super face. fun anxiety attack because he's not sure how this is going to go. I hate it so much. I'm so disappointed. That being said, they are getting into competition distance now. It should be starting any second. And like clockwork, boom, competition starts. Fox and Falco making their first turn. Hey, look, there's Doom Bay out there. Max on the edge of his seat right now, uh, a white knuckle experience as he watches his aircraft charge toward their inevitable victory or doom. Mainly doom. Always doom. As the Azurite Trap used to say, we're all gonna die. It is doom and gloom while things go boom. All right, once again, Clams and Aim9s being launched in very quick succession. This time, I think we're going to watch from the Shadow's perspective. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to watch from the sea. Uh, we got to... If this is the last time we're going to see this glorious creation, uh, we need to be able to, to watch from its perspective. Instead, it is trying to... It seems to have a little bit of a uh, problem with pitch. I mean, it's... There it goes, firing uh, AIM-9s. I mean, I'm a nice close range. Rude. It's just that it's having a very, very hard time pitching. Well, certainly won't have any problems yawing. <laughs> it actually is fairly stable, though, honestly, with that design, you would kind of expect it to be. Uh, All right, uh, we've got uh, Falco dropping chaff and flares. Shadow uh, already on Falco's tail. The 420 Falcon actually being struck by uh, friendly fire from the shadow. Interesting. It appears. They actually seem to be focusing on the shadow for a change. Missile looping. Not sure if that's uh, a clam or not. Uh, according to the readout, it does not appear to be a clam at this moment in time. 420 uh, turning around, taking a beat, and launching at Fox with a nines. But uh, it's going to take more than that to drop Fox. He is the main character, after all. You know, Kaz, you just jinxed him, right? We all know how this goes with Star Fox. The second you think you're going to do well, you just, like, screw it up. Jow 22! Oh, doing a bit of a joust, trying to hit each other. By now, we've got Falco trying to take on the 420. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's watch from the Shadow's perspective, since it probably has a nice view of both of these aircraft. Ooh! Quam hitting the Falco from the shadow. Thankfully, didn't seem to do a lot of damage for my sake, but 
Those Gal 22s sawing into the 420. Shadow trying to turn around to aid its ally as Fox and Falco, wingmen to the end, working hard to beat up the 420. 420 is Why taking a beating right now. Why the 420? 420 taking a hell of a beating. Pulse lasers ripping through the 420. Thank God, finally. But they're still gonna attack it for some stupid reason because I don't know. AI v AI. BDA AI will be itself. Nonetheless, uh, you can actually tune the AI to avoid things with smaller part counts. Oh, Fox yeah, getting a nice bad. shot. Nice shooting, Fox. Meanwhile, uh, looks like uh, the shadow is actually focused on Falco, despite the fact that Fox is flying right up his tailpipe. Real question is, are they going to kill each other in their crossfire when they try to get this guy now? Or is there going to be some kind of Ooh, ramp? Ooh, Pulse Laser shearing a wing off of the shadow. I think it's That's pretty clear who our victor is going to be, unless some catastrophic, you know, collision between these two crafts suddenly, uh... Are you trying to invoke Murphy right now, Kaz? <laughs> no, okay, it appears good. that it's trying to... What? It's still flying. <laughs> it's still flying. I, I you so much right now. This is why it's called the ultimate life form. This is a viable aircraft. Well, it's on and down finally, down. it's taken a whole lot. But here we are. Without a All doubt, right. ladies and gentlemen, your winner for episode 10 of Fighter Jet Roundtable Season 2 is Team none Star Fox. Yes. It still works ugly. It still looks hideous, but you know, even a goblin shark's mom has to find it attractive and adorable at some point. What the hell? That's disturbing, Kaz. What the hell are you into? Don't ask that. Uh, you know what? I, I, I withdraw that comment. He's right. I'm sorry, everybody. Don't think about that. Anyway, I've been Kaz. Until next time. <laughs> Happy building. <laughs> And happy Everything blast. Everything is wrong. Goblin shark. <laughs> what the hell? Where did you even get that one from? You know what? Never mind. I hadn't heard it right the first time. I I, 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 gotta, I gotta ask that question. I, I, I gotta not ask that question. I just afraid. What? I haven't had any alcohol. I need my bleach. We have the MiG 28A on the right side for some reason, sent in by Litz the Blizzard. And. Are you sure about that? I will murder you. <laughs>